now let's start with the coding of uh, master so we have a model called master app underscore master and we have inputs as So these are my inputs of my module. I'm coming to outputs. So yeah, these are my inputs and outputs of my module. And let me take some registers. These are some registers and let me declare some parameters.
and now I'm writing the logic for reset So yeah, now let's write the logic for state machine. Always at the rate state comma. Uh, we ready? Begin. We'll assign p write to write signal. Written a case will take present underscore state. If the present state is idle, then begin p we will assign p enable equal to zero. And if there is no transfer, then next underscore state will be equal to idle only we have already seen this uh, state diagram and if else uh, next underscore state will be equal to setup ending this and in the case of setup state begin we enable is equal to zero and if read is equal to one and read is equal to one tick binary one and write equal to one tick binary zero then in the case of setup state if read is equal to 1 and write is equal to 0 then p address is equal to app underscore read underscore p address else else if, if read is equal to 0 and write is equal to 1 then p address will be equal to app underscore write underscore p address and p w data will be equal to app underscore write underscore data begin and So yeah, in the setup state, if p uh, in the setup state we are making p enable equal to zero, and if read is equal to one and write is equal to zero, that is a read operation. Then p address is equal to app underscore read underscore p address, and if read is equal to zero and write is equal to one, that is if it is a write operation, then data will be sent to pw data and p address will be assigned. Now, uh, ending this. And if it is in enable state, then begin p enable is equal to one. If p select one or p select two, if any of one of this is equal to one, then p enable will be equal to one. So it will be equal to one tick binary one and and if uh, 
transfer and not of p slave error if transfer is equal to one and if there is no p slave error then begin if p ready is equal to one then begin if ready is equal to if read is equal to one and write equal to write is equal to zero then it should go to setup state else read equal to zero and write is equal to one then begin next underscore state is equal to setup and apb underscore read underscore sorry if read is equal to zero and write is equal to one next underscore state is equal to setup and if read is equal to one and write is equal to zero then next underscore state is equal to setup and apb underscore read underscore data underscore out will be equal to PR data. If period is not equal to one, then next underscore state is equal to enable. And in this, and if transfer is equal to zero and or if there is a p slave error then next underscore state is equal to idle and in this so yeah so in enable phase we are reading the data and that is if read is equal to one only then we are reading the data whereas in setup phase we are all uh, we are giving the pw data so yeah this is the logic and we will in the case and ending always block present state is not equal to idle then p select 1 and p select 2 will be equal to 0 and if present state is equal to idle then if p address of 8 that is 8th bit of p address is equal to 0 then p select 1 and p select 2 will be equal to p select 1 will be equal to 1 and and p address of 8th bit is equal to 1 then p select 1 will be equal to 0 and p select 2 will be equal to 1 and p address of 8 8 that is 8th bit of p address p address of 8 that is 9th bit of p address is equal to 1 then p select 1 will be equal to 0 and p select 2 will be equal to 1 and if p address of 8 is equal to 0 if p address of 8 is equal to 0 that is 9th bit is equal to 0 then p select 1 is equal to 1 and p select 2 is equal to 0 this is the logic i am writing for selecting the p select 1 and p select 